touches your mind And if I fly, or if I fall At least I can say I gained Hey everybody, it's Jody here, your Wednesday host for FT Real M. I hope everyone had a good holiday last week. Um, hope you ate lots of food with your friends and your family, however you do it. Along with, if you're a student and you had a break, I hope that you did have a good break. I know that I didn't do anything over break, and I should have. So, it's going to be a long next couple of weeks. Um, moving on to this week's topic, though, we are talking about prosthetics, a.k.a. strap-ons. So, I'm going to give you a little insight to my sex life. Um, so in the strap-on department on how I have purchased my strap-on that I currently own is I've had conversations with some of my male friends that I trust to have these conversations with on, um, the length of my penis. So I am 5'2", and I talked to my friends about how long, what the length of my penis would be if I was a cisgendered male, and them discussing their penises and kind of um, looking some stuff up on the internet, we decided together that um, a cisgender male my height would have about a five inch penis. So I have a five inch penis. Um, another thing that I look for in purchasing a strap on is the natural realistic look of it. So what I mean by that is the skin tone has to match my skin as much as it possibly can along with um, does the ball sack look as, does it look realistic? You know, does it have like skin kind of te like skin texture to it? Is it uneven? Is it not uneven? Um, do the veins, you know, are the veins in the shaft realistic enough that when I'm having sex with my partner that she's going to be able to feel it or maybe he, but right now currently it's a she. And then the tip of the penis, is it defined enough that she's going to feel that and it's going to be a good experience for her? Um, during that moment. And then the reason why I go for the natural realistic look is because it makes me feel more relaxed and more comfortable. And it makes me feel like the strap on isn't a strap on, but it's actually my penis. It's actually attached to my body. And that's why I go for that aesthetic look. Um, obviously the guys, you know, later this week, will probably maybe have something else to say, and I hope that they do because it's going to be good videos. But if we don't, then hey, maybe you can try something new out and you can let us know. Now, there are two different styles of harnesses to use. Um, I use a boxer style. Um, that's what I prefer. It makes me more comfortable with um, my body as well, but mostly just my ass hanging out in the air, getting wind on it from moving it in that manner just kind of weirds me out um, and so I like to have my butt covered so this is why another reason why I have chosen this style of harness so this is what my harness looks like um, it currently has my packer in it so just ignore that but it's a good demonstration so this is what it looks like I'm getting a good look my packer is getting a little low and then this is the back side yeah all right cool so on the inside of this harness, um, there is two mesh settings. So one mesh is to cover, one mesh, sorry, one mesh is to cover the base of the penis if you don't want it touching your body. Um, while I'm having sex, um, I actually like the base to touch my genitalia. The reason why that is is because it makes it feel more natural and more realistic to me even when I'm having sex. So it makes it feel like I am a cisgendered male in this moment. And then there is another mesh part right here, another mesh. So there's two meshes and then you get to the hole. And it's it looks like a small hole when you just look at it, but it does fit a, a strap on through here and obviously fits my packer through here. And then we get to the front side of things here. And then it just comes out the hole, and we have it. So this is what it would look like if I had my strap on in it. Not as flexible, obviously, but this is what it would look like while having while I'm having sex. So um, I purchased this underwear um, from an online 
adult store. It's called babeland.com, and I'll put the link down below for everyone to check out. And I've actually been to this adult store. I usually typically am weary of buying things that I'm unsure of, especially strap-ons from online, because I can't look at it and I can't touch it and I can't do things with it to make sure that it's exactly what I want. And so I would recommend purchasing a prosthetic or a strap-on from a local adult store. Um, if you're not comfortable with buying it because you're afraid you're going to run into somebody, um, you can try it online. Um, or if you go to a different city that you're more comfortable with purchasing those items, go ahead and do that the next time you go there. Um, so I'm going to end it here because we're getting kind of long. But I do hope that it gave you some insight on how I have chosen my strap-on and my harness preferences. Um, and I hope the guys have something else to say later this week. All right, if you have any other further questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below. And as I said, I will um, hook you guys up with the link to the website below so you can check it out. All right.